Have a uh, bear in camp. Worst case scenario, someone could get attacked and seriously hurt, if not killed. So it's something we have to take quite seriously. You know, he's not aggressive yet, but he's definitely not scared of us or scared of being camp with the generators going and stuff like that. So somebody's gonna get hurt because they're gonna come out of their cabin or you just run into them, you know, they're quiet. I guess we gotta do something about it now. Go away! Go! See him from over there, Guillaume. So we just had a little bit of an incident. Had to fire a warning shot in the air. Just gonna clean up. He got into the storage shed. Uh, this is the scene of the crime. And uh, there's the uh, juice Kool-Aid crystals. There's the wrapper there. I think he came in here, looked over at the beans and realized he couldn't get through that tin. So he grabbed the next best thing, man, the Kool-Aid. Probably never had so much flavor in his life. We're in their country, so I, like, I try to respect that, but now that he's been in food in camp, unfortunately, he'll always come back. Curtis! Hey, Curtis, man. That uh, bear's back. Where's the map? Oh, there it is. Hello, Kirby. Ken Foy calling out from Moose Creek. Sounds like you had a real bad bear there. Yeah, he came in and tore the door open on the dry goods, and he was in there ripping around, so we had no choice but to put him down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it sounds like he did the right thing. One that's doing that is just going to be bad. That's the way it is. The conservation officer is going to come out and get the pelt from the bear today. A problem bear to a camp is just the risk to every individual there. A dangerous bear can kill someone. You know, if it turns on a person and attacks a person, it usually comes with some pretty bad results. Unfortunately, the bear had to go.